I want to make an altar call. I want to call everyone who is saying, Lord, I have lied. I have stolen. I have walked in a wrong way. I have done wrong things. Lord, but today I come to you. I want you to dwell in my heart. I want you to stay in my heart. I have been saying I am a Christian, but you are not there in my heart. I am doing things on my own. If you are standing there and you are saying, Lord, today, I want you to renew me from my head to toes. You come into my heart and renew me. Make me a new person all over again. If you are there, please run to the front. Run, come and stand here at the front. Hey, Father, renew me. Renew me, renew me. My heart, Lord, renew me. Renew me. You said our hearts must be full of love. We must love one another as you have loved us. But Lord, I don't love. You said we must not speak against each other. But Lord, I found, Lord, I found myself speaking. Renew me, Lord. I have realized that it's because you are not in me. I am just one of those that are going there. But today I want to register my own name, my heart to you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God Almighty, I know that you love us so great, oh God. You even saved somebody like me. So it means you can do anything that is pertaining us again. Please raise your hands before the Lord, please. There is a God in heaven. There is also a Savior that is risen from the dead. There is also the Holy Spirit, our helper. The one who is always with us, walking with us each and every step of the way. They are called the three in one or one in three. When you have seen Jesus, you have seen the Father and you know the Holy Spirit. So as you are standing before the altar of the Lord, believe that today God is going to take over your soul and your spirit. He is going to take over you, your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart needs overhauling. Your heart needs your heart need to be renewed. Thank you, Father. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, your children are standing right in front of your altar. I'm not the one that called them. You are the one that have called them. 
convinced them of their doings. I don't know anything about them. God, you know everything about them. Now as they are standing in front of your altar, they are saying they want to enter and go up your holy hill. They want to enter into your tabernacle. We are missing things because of our hearts. Our blessings are passing us by because of our hearts. Breakthrough is passing us by because of our hearts. We cry, oh Lord, oh Lord, but you come and pass our hearts, Lord. But today you are renewing them. Taking out a heart of stone and putting in a heart of flesh. A heart filled with love, care. Mercy, loving kindness, a heart full, filled with your grace, a heart that will love everyone, a heart that will rejoice when everyone prospereth. I give you all the praise, Father for your children that are standing in front of you today. And I say every spirit or every demon that was trying to rob them of the glory of God today is destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. And every hindrance is from the camp of the enemy that was coming their way is destroyed today in Jesus' name. And every plan of the devil, that the plan has been planned against each and every one of them not to prosper, to be discouraged and not to go forward, serving the Lord God Almighty, doing his will and doing what he say. That spirit is cancelled today in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand here as a servant of the Lord. And Father, whatever word that you are putting in my mouth, I'm saying it in authority and every wall is broken. Right now, in the name of Jesus, there are spirits that are following us wherever we go in whatever we do taking us out of the way of righteousness but today i say it's over it's finished in the mighty name of jesus you are all set free and you are all delivered in the name of jesus you are set free from the hands of the enemy you are liberated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. You are taken out of darkness into his kingdom of light. God, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. And I pray for the anointing of the Lord to fall upon them right now and fill them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive the unction and the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Now. Now, take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit that will help you along the way, helping you in whatever you do, helping you in every action that you take. The Holy Spirit that will stay in your heart. I say in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Be filled by the Spirit of the Lord. Be filled. Be filled by the Spirit of the Lord. Be filled by the Spirit of the Lord. Be filled by the Spirit of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kalokosia <laughs> The Spirit of the Lord will stay and dwell in your lives. The Spirit of the Lord will make habitation in your lives and in your hearts. 
from today forward, whatever you will do, you will do things that pertain to the kingdom of heaven. You will never go astray or walk out of the road of righteousness because you are walking with the king of glory and the king of heaven. And the spirit of the Lord will always teach and direct us and direct you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus.